Hello, Sagittarius. Getting ready to do your reading. All right, messages for Sagittarius at this time. Okay, messages for Sagittarius at this time. All right. Some of you are worried or you're up late at night thinking about the future because you, you're not sure about something. You're not sure, you don't have an answer or you don't know where you're going. Some of you feel out in the cold. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but we have the Hermit Knight of Coin, Four of Cups, Six of Swords. The outcome is the Five of Wands and then the Five of Swords. Okay, you're under the deck. Let's just peek to see what's behind you. Ten of Coins, very nice, okay. So I feel like some of you, either you're worried about a secret, something coming out, or you're worried about your next step, you're not sure what to do. This might have something to do with a Pisces or a Virgo, but let's go back around. I feel like a lot of this is unnecessary worry, but let's see. Justice, okay, it could be a Libra, Libra, excuse me. Three of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Oh, let's clarify that right now. Let me shuffle them. What is the Seven of Swords? What is the Seven of Swords? Okay, there's a world here. What's coming in that with that world? It's like a secret, though, with the Seven of Swords. I want to make sure nobody's doing this to you is what I'm finding out. I want to see if you, this is you. Because it might be the Five of Swords or is this somebody else? What is the world? Hang on, I'm sorry. I can tell them this is the right card. There we go. Feeling stuck. Okay, but there's new love. Okay. Interesting. Even though Ace of Wands is under there right now. That Ten of Coins still is back there. Right, this may be secret love, actually. This might, what that might be. All right, who is the Knight of Coin or what is the Knight of Coin? Six of Cups. Okay. All right, so there might be someone who is coming back in. Definitely could be, it doesn't have to be an ex, but it might be somebody you do know with the Six of Cups. Could be a Virgo, like I already said. Uh, they they might be watching you. This, sometimes this card in this deck reminds you of someone looking back at the past. You know, the horse and the rabbit are looking that way. I think he's supposed to be going that way, but he's looking that way. So he's looking at the past. Maybe he's, I don't think he's really spying on you. Sometimes I feel that with this deck, with the hermit next to him, I don't really feel like he is. Maybe, maybe he's looking for you. Kind of like looking for you, looking you up right now. Googling your name, Facebooking it, Instagram. Okay, let me see what the Six of Swords is. Six of Swords, Four of Cups. Communication. I do feel like you have somebody coming in out of the blue. You're feeling maybe a little lonely right now. You're worried about the future. I don't know, maybe you are worried about this person once you find out who this is. But someone is definitely coming in to communicate with you. What is the Page of Wands? What is the Page of Wands? Okay, Empress energy. This person may view you as the Empress. They may be a mom or mother figure for some of you, if that makes sense. But we have the Ace of Cups, though. No, that makes more sense that they view you this way. What is the Empress energy? One more card, please. Oh, they walked away from somebody. Okay. They have been married, it appears, and they're walking away. That might be why you're worrying. This might be a secret, Seven of Swords. Maybe you have secret love for this person and they've secretly loved you and now that might be why you're worried. All right, let's see. Five of Wands, now this could be just you going back and forth in your mind. Should you, shouldn't you? Five of Swords, to me I think you're gonna say yes. What is the Five of Swords please for Sagittarius? Manifesting. Nine of Wands victory. That's kind of interesting. There is the fool under there. So with the Nine of Wands, it could be the ninth here in August. So it could be this weekend you might hear from this person. It's interesting because it's like you never gave up on this person or relationship, or maybe that's how they feel about you. You guys are always hoping maybe to get back together or to communicate again. What is the Six of Wands? Okay, Chariot. Could be a cancer, but more than likely, this is somebody coming to visit you. Somebody may be, with the Nine of Wands, worried about contacting you. Kind of like it feels like someone who has attempted to make contact, but always was chickening out. And that might be with the Five of Swords. It's like, yes, I'm finally going to contact Sagittarius. I don't care. I'm going to do it. And they feel good about it. And then it looks like what happens is you guys are going to meet. I see a meeting here. 
So they have walked away, it looks like, from a wife or a partner. They haven't divorced, though, probably, just to let you know. Though we do have the world up there, but what is a justice card? What is a justice card? That might be what you're worried about, the star, but you're excited. I get that you're excited. You're nervous and you're worried because of maybe what other people are thinking. If they find out, you're worried because you don't know if this person is lying to you. So that's where tarot comes in. Now, this isn't a personal reading, so but what I'm seeing in this one is that, like I said, they walked away. They are not divorced. They're, to me, it almost looks like they're not even separated. Well, they might be separated, I'm sorry, but there's like nothing legal, no, no legal separation, just I'm gonna walk away right now from this person. What is the Eight of Cups? What is the Eight of Cups? Hang on, that wasn't it, I'm sorry. Eight of Cups, there we go. Not to wish fulfill. You appear to be a wish fulfilled for this person. I do feel like this is something from far back. Someone you have not talked you have not talked to them in a while, maybe within the past six years. Again, we have Aquarius, Pisces, Libra here, Virgo here, Cancer. So, but it looks like this is coming just at the right time. Now I'm gonna clarify the seven of swords because I feel like five of coins, you're feeling lonely. Or maybe you're thinking about this person, the seven of coins. You're thinking, like, where did they go? I really like that person. You know, we were lovers at one time let's see what deck i should use but what is the seven of swords what is the seven of swords all right ace of cups again nine of cups a wish fulfilled five of swords taking this opportunity four of swords okay three of three, we do have the three of coins okay i kind of like there might be a third person but i think they're saying not to worry about it right now under the deck is ace of wands a very new opportunity that's coming in towards you from the past might be an earth sign but there is an offer i think i really know you like this person first of all so this is somebody who could be you know a high school college uh friend maybe someone you dated I feel like some of you will be thinking, oh, I don't know if I should do this. This isn't a good idea. But you're like, five of swords, screw it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to see them. It's almost like don't worry or don't think about if there's somebody else involved with the three of coins. Hmm. Okay, so you're happy. They're happy too, just so you know. Nine of cups, they're happy. I'm going to put these back in. So maybe you guys will have a secret meeting. I want to know, I, I guess you feel stuck, Eight of Swords, because you might be married, actually. Maybe you're married, Sagittarius. Maybe you're in a relationship, and that might be the problem. Why are you feeling stuck, Eight of Swords? Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. All right. Justice, Four of Wands, Two of Coins. Okay. There's the Ace of Cups again. Yeah, you're in love. You like this person. What's under the deck? Judgment, another opportunity with this person. Communication, again, we have the Six of Swords, Six of Cups under there. So you're going to go for this. So some of you may be low on funds, though. For somebody, you might have just moved, and so that's why you have the Two of Coins there. Maybe your bank account's kind of low. You don't really have the funds to travel. That might be what's holding you back. Again, you may be weighing it up and down, yes or no, should I, shouldn't I, but you're going to go for it. I mean, ultimately, you're going to go for it. Justice tells me, though, I feel like there's that this is meant to be. It could also mean that you were thinking about this person and you manifested them back in, because what the energy you put out is the energy you bring back in. So this is actually very exciting. So this person is coming in with communication. Let's put some cards on the past too for them. Is what I'm seeing here meant to be, at least for a meeting, at least for conversation, maybe dinner or drinks. What is the Six of Cups? What is the Six of Cups? Six of Coin, Three of Cups, Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords. Okay. Under the deck is the Ten of Wands. I do feel like this person has thought about you a lot over the years. They might be an earth sign behind that. Okay. Six of Coins, Three of Cups can be going out for drinks. You could be buying drinks or they could be buying drinks right here, a date. 
Again, there's some type of, it looks like a bit of secrecy around this whole relationship and you're wondering where it's going, but there definitely could be a new start coming with the Ace of Swords. Now this can be their energy though. This is what they're thinking. So if you want to know, what does this person want? Well, they want to start something with you with the Ace of Swords. They definitely do. It was like you were the, always the one they wanted is what I'm seeing here, Nine of Cups. I do get the feeling like they're asking, you, is it okay if I come out and visit? Is it okay if I fly out or drive over or drive out and see you? And I get that you're going to say yes. You're going to be happy about this person. So I'm going to leave it there. Sagittarius, have a really good week and take care.